let's see about cervical incompetence first the definition of cervical incompetence it is defined as the inability of the cervix to retain a pregnancy in the second trimester in the absence of uterine contractions this is the definition given by acog american college of obstetricians and gynecologists so they define cervical incompetence as inability of the cervix to retain a pregnancy in second trimester in the absence of uterine contractions and the cervical incompetence is characterized by painless cervical dilation in the second trimester as mentioned in the definition with membranes bulging through the cervical canal and this will be followed by expulsion of immature fetus through the cervical canal and this fetus may be apparently normal and this is expelled along with placenta and uh, it has an ability to repeat itself in the subsequent pregnancies so this condition should be diagnosed and treated earlier in subsequent pregnancies it should be diagnosed and treated earlier in subsequent pregnancies as it has the tendency to repeat now let's see the etiology the cervical incompetence is because of the lack of sphincteric action of the internal loss of the cervix cervical internal loss so there are certain clinical features associated with cervical incompetence which include there is painless cervical dilation with bulging membranes in the second trimester and premature rupture of membranes with absence of uterine contractions these are the clinical features now the causes of cervical incompetence can be congenital or acquired congenital cause is very rare coming to the acquired causes this can develop post surgeries so this is one of the post surgical complication of many surgeries which include dilatation and curettage when there's forced dilation of the cervix or after cone biopsy of the cervix cauterization of cervix one of the surgical complications after these surgeries there can be cervical incompetence now how to diagnose cervical incompetence during pregnancy during pregnancy transvaginal ultrasound is better than the transabdominal ultrasound 
and the diagnostic criteria would be a cervical length of less than or equal to 2.5 centimeters or less than or equal to 25 millimeters is suggestive of cervical incompetence. Also, there will be funneling of the membranes through the incompetent cervical os. And in patients with previous history of cervical incompetence, weekly ultrasounds are done between week 16 and 24 that is in the second trimester and if this condition is fulfilled that is cervical length less than 2.5 centimeters or presence of funneling it is considered to be abnormal and what are the investigations done in non-pregnant state In the non-pregnant state, first we should take a detailed history which is very important. Regarding the pregnancy which resulted in abortion and then we should screen for other comorbidities like diabetes and syphilis or any other infections during pregnancy and a histogram is indicated whenever there is uterine malformation or suspicion of cervical incompetence and karyotyping of parents can be done in case of recurrent abortions especially in the first trimester next we should rule out autoimmune disorders like APLA syndrome or SLE they, they can also be the cause of repeated abortions now coming to the management of cervical incompetence The treatment is only surgical and it consists of suturing the cervix thereby reinforcing the strength of the cervix with the help of a suture. And this suture is done between 14 to 24th week of gestation. And an ultrasound is done to confirm fetal viability and to exclude any congenital malformations. This is called as cerclage. There are different types of circlages done which include McDonald suture, modified Shirodkar suture and the Shirodkar suture. Of which Shirodkar stitch is more complicated and it is not used nowadays and McDonald suture is the most commonly used the most popular suture in circlage procedure for cervical incompetence 
and the modified chirodkar suture is done in case where there is previous failure of macdonald suture or when there is any structural cervical abnormalities this is an image showing macdonald suture for in cervical incompetence it is a very simple procedure in which a number 2 monofilament suture is placed in the body of the cervix near the level of the internal os so this is the internal os at the level of internal os a suture is placed in the body of the cervix and it is placed as a purse string suture so from here it is placed in a purse string manner to encircle the internal os and the suture is tightened around the cervical os so the suture is tightened around the cervical os this is the macdonald suture which is a very simple and most commonly performed cervical encerclage procedure next coming to the complications the complications include there can be rupture of membranes and infections because of which called as chorio amnionitis or there can be intrauterine infections then last coming to the success rate the success rate for these procedures have been reported to be around 80 to 90 percentage so it has very high success rate this is all about the cervical incompetence thank you